Fishing has always been an uncertain and risky venture. Fishermen are skilled at adapting to fierce storms, unstable markets, and big swings in fish availability. But the next 20 years promise to be even more volatile. Climate impacts are already evident in upland, coastal, and ocean environments. Changes in technology, trade, consumer tastes, and shocks like pandemics will also shape a different, unpredictable world. As humans, we take many changes in our stride, but we also tend to be biased towards planning for what we expect or hope will happen, which means that we often overlook other possibilities. In such time, it is important to keep an open mind about what the future could bring. To do this, the Pacific Fishery Management Council is undertaking a scenario planning exercise. This approach helps us explore and navigate uncertainty. It uses a rigorous and creative process to develop multiple scenarios, stories about the future that are both challenging and plausible. These scenarios will help us ask and answer tough questions. Should we approach fishery management differently in this era of climate change? How can various players across the industry best prepare for the challenging times ahead? The scenarios let us see, in advance, emerging situations we might face, and then rehearse different strategies to prepare. They also help us think about how our communities might fare, and how we can help shape the future to our advantage. Over the past year, the Council has convened scientists, fishery managers, fishery participants, members of coastal communities, marketers and others in conversations to explore the future of West Coast fishing to the year 2040. Through a series of workshops and webinars, we have developed four different stories of what the next 20 years might look like. These four scenarios share some common assumptions. First, the properties of ocean water will change. The ocean will continue to warm, likely at a faster pace than we've seen so far. Seawater will become more acidic, and in some areas, water will hold less oxygen. Human behavior will also shape the oceans. We'll see increasing demand for protein, more pollution and contaminants, competition for ocean resources, advancing technology, and a strong desire for sustainable solutions. But there is a lot that we don't know. Our four scenarios are based around two critical questions that we cannot answer right now. One, between now and 2040, how variable will changing climate and ocean conditions be? And two, will the fish we want to catch be as abundant in the places we usually find them? Using this framework as a starting point, we built scenarios to bring these different futures to life. Fortune and favor, low climate and ocean variability, abundant fish stocks. Fortune and favor is a mostly benign world for ocean users. Many important target species occur more widely, often appearing farther north than they do today. But industry economics are tough, as pandemics and cyber conflicts lead to trade wars. The U.S. fishing industry becomes less international and relies more on domestic demand. By 2040, there is a renewed emphasis on buying local and community-based approaches to fishery management. Blue Revolution. Low climate and ocean variability, declining fish stocks. In Blue Revolution, the commercial development of new ocean uses takes off. Government and business join forces to invest in alternative energy and biotechnology. Large offshore energy installations and aquaculture farms now compete for ocean space. Available fish stocks become concentrated in certain areas, often the same places that whales and sea turtles prefer. The public calls for more regulation so iconic marine species aren't harmed. Hollowed out, high climate and ocean variability, 
fish stocks decline. In hollowed out, extreme and sometimes insurmountable challenges confront many in the fishing industry. Acidification and periods of low oxygen and extreme warming create surprises that affect the ocean food web. Extreme storms and rising tides cause regular damage. Most fish are scarce and fisheries suffer. Supply shocks make wild-caught fish a high-priced delicacy. By 2040, only a few large companies do most of the fishing and processing, while small fisheries up and down the coast try to survive on erratic and irregular catches. Box of chocolates. High climate and ocean variability. Fish stocks increase. In box of chocolates, Technology helps temper massive unpredictability. A series of ecological surprises produce boom and bust cycles. Some fish populations shift northwards and into deeper waters, while warmer water species unexpectedly appear. Big swings in availability increase pressure on fishermen to be flexible, shifting their attention between different fisheries. Marketing the catch proves difficult as seafood availability is so unpredictable. Operators, scientists, and managers invest in monitoring and sensing technology to better assess ecosystem conditions and find the fish. What do you think fishery managers, scientists, fishery participants, and coastal communities need to do to prepare for each of these scenarios. We ask you to imagine what you would face in each of these worlds. How would you cope? And most importantly, what would you do now to prepare for any of these futures and for the next 20 years of uncertainty? We don't know for certain the challenges that lie ahead, but together with scenario planning, we can be better prepared to face and shape the future.